Hey everybody, what's going on? So I'm coming to you all today to talk about my road to 165 pounds. Um, I know I haven't made a video about this in a long time. And it's mainly because I was doing the challenge and it was taking up a lot of my time. As well as I just had a lot of stuff going on in my own personal life and drawing me here on YouTube where I just haven't been feeling the vlogging like I used to. But I am trying to get back into it. Um, but with that being said, although I haven't been talking to you guys about me getting to my goal, um, I have been focused and I have been trying. Um, and I'm so close. I'm just, I'm this close you guys. Like literally almost touching my goal. And it is such an amazing feeling to say that I'm coming from 341 pounds to 165 pounds. And that I did it. You know what I'm saying? That I set my mind out to do something and that I accomplished it. Like, y'all, it just feels so good because I've just been working so hard. And my body hurts, and I'm tired, but I haven't given up, and it just feels so good to be here, to say that I finally completed something that I didn't believe I'd be able to do. I mean, yes, I know people didn't believe it either, but to the fact that I didn't believe it, and I'm doing it, oh gosh, here I go time is here y'all so I'm a little sensitive but this is true like to be here in this moment is amazing and I can't be anything but thankful and happy okay guys so turning off the tears I wanted to come and talk to you guys about something that I noticed um, throughout my journey towards the end that may can shed some light if you're going through something similar or if you want to see results but you're not getting them so that is do not be afraid of change or switching things up stepping out of your comfort zone or another way to say it try something new I have to change up a few things to start to finally see the results that I wanted and it had to do with my food, my exercise, and my mental state. And I'm going to talk about each of those parts. So first I'm going to start with food. As a lot of you guys know, I am currently taking in lower carbs. And I'm taking in between 60 to 100 carbs a day. Now, I got a lot of slack for this. I know a lot of people said that it's not healthy. You know, it's not something you can sustain. Um, or all these different things that it doesn't work and I definitely listened but if anyone knows my body and it's me and I knew that majority of my carbs were coming from skinny cows 100 snack packs you guys see my what I ate today videos you, you rarely see things like rice or pasta you see skin cows and I don't even eat bread I barely eat bread I have flat out flat wraps so the bulk of my carbs were from me having snacks and it worked for me in the beginning of my journey I was able to lose weight eating snacks and exercising but coming towards the end of my journey I noticed that I was not seeing the results that I should have been seeing with the exercise that I was putting in and I knew it had to do with my diet so that's why I decided to go lower carb to get rid of the carbs that I was constantly eating and when I did that you guys I saw results now I know low carb is not for everyone and I'm not trying to say go on a lower carb diet or anything like that all I'm trying to say is when you're not seeing the results don't listen to what people tell you, oh, don't do that, it's not going to work because it didn't work for me, or that it's not going to give you any results. You have to follow your own mind. You know your body more than anybody. And I don't have to say I told you so. 
I don't have to say anything because the results in my body speaks for itself. Another change I decided to make was with my workouts. The bulk of my weight loss was due to me doing Zumba as well as Curves. And I can't speak anything but great things about both of them. But my body was becoming so used to those workouts. And I would do them and I would be sweating and I would feel tired. But I wasn't seeing changes and I wasn't feeling challenged. I just felt like I was working out to work out, which is a good thing. The sound bad, but if I'm going to work out, I want to see some results. You know, I want to see some changes. And I wasn't getting it. So I didn't know if it was from my food or from my, my workout. So I decided to get rid of both. So I decided to not do curves in Zumba for a month and yes I relapsed a few times maybe once or twice but for the majority of last month I was just doing supreme 90 day and every once in a while an insanity workout testing out the program walking and that's pretty much it that's what I've been doing last month and with that I really started to see changes in my body I started to see changes in my neck area in my stomach and my arms like I'm starting to see muscle definition in my arms and they're finally toning up and things are really coming together for me and I'm very excited about it and I'm glad that I was willing to step out of my comfort zone because I'm now seeing the my hard work pay off pretty much another thing and this by far is probably the biggest change that I decided to make was my mindset and that was me being in this comfort zone of being a plus size person I have been plus size my entire life and for me that's where I feel comfortable and people don't understand that when they say why you still want to be plus size because what else can I be you know I've never known anything else so I have been hindering my weight loss and sabotaging myself because I didn't want to be small and and I honestly wasn't being realistic because I wanted the changes yet I didn't want to change if that makes any sense I didn't want to change but I wanted a flatter stomach and I wanted to be plus size but it didn't match my body frame like I was not being realistic with the way my body was shaped and the way that I wanted to be I wanted to be around 220 pounds and when I was at that weight I still had a large stomach and I was thinking hey well I know people who's 220 pounds and they have an hourglass figure they don't have a big stomach they they have you know nice hips nice breasts flat stomach my body shape is not like that I carry most of my weight up top so I cannot base the weight my goal weight on what I've seen on other people but I have to keep going with my weight loss and be the weight that's going to look best for me and when I let that go and when I stop being afraid that hey I'm probably not going to be plus size anymore but I'm okay with that now and I'm accepting that I'm just going to be healthy and the one thing that I didn't want was to start my journey off to be healthy and then coming towards when I wanted to just stop at 220 I was still unhealthy because I carry majority of the weight in my stomach and we all know that that's the last place where you want to carry any type of fat so me letting that go and just allowing my body to lose the weight and let go of the fat it just worked wonderfully for me so I just wanted to share that with you guys just let things go let things happen and don't be afraid of change do not be afraid of trying new things because you may get great results or you may get the results that you've been searching for so with that being said I will talk with you all later bye guys